calm day. Water is as clear as glass. Amazing. When you walk into this water, you can certainly look down and see your toes. What a beautiful beach. I'm looking at a reflection of uh, the windows in our room. That's nice too. Sitting on the beach at Kawama in front of building 46. It's pretty quiet in this area of the resort. It's a long, narrow resort. But uh, this is a fairly tropical setting here. The moon is coming up at Kawama. What a beauty. It's been a wonderful vacation. I'm inside the renovated lobby at Hotel Club Kawama, and it has a cathedral ceiling, fronts on the canal, beautiful floor they put in here. Over here's the desk where you'll find later 10 to 12 in the morning to do reservations for the a la carte restaurants. This is where when the bus drops you at the front door, you'll come and check in and get your key to your room. That's where the bar used to be. There's uh, offices upstairs. The door on the left is the exit out to the pool. And New furniture they put in the renovated lobby. This is the only way into the new lobby bar. I guess they want to keep people from walking in on this floor with uh, wet bathing suits and creating a slick floor. Lots of seating, but you can see it's quite popular. There's Janya. She just uh, made me uh, a couple of burritos. We're sitting here looking out over the pool. Just unpacking, butter on the left, Kalamata olives, green olives, lemon pepper, fresh Himalayan crack salt, three color pepper, Asian salad toppings, they're really good, brought a couple of them, some different uh, salad dressings there, I have another half a dozen or more of them, pesto, Got some slivered almonds, truffle oil, bell peppers, onion, that Asian blend, uh, they, that really can kick up a salad uh, at lunchtime, along with some of that lettuce. And uh, they weren't checking luggage today, but I was ready. If they put a little white sticker on uh, the outside of your uh, check bag coming off of the carousel arrival in Veradero it means that they're going to check it on the way out so you can pull the white sticker off but nobody was working tonight anyway but I have done that before. I kept unpacking and came across some of the uh, chocolate gifts that I have here. Lots of nuts 
and uh, I bring some cheeses too, some seven-year-old, five-year-old, extra old, extra old. There's some noodles just in case they don't have any, some Swiss. White Fox is really good, like an old cheese or some five-year-old Parmesan. And uh, they make nice gifts, these do. I buy them on sale at No Frills. And uh, these uh, Tupperware sort of containers, they come in handy for taking stuff to the buffet or bringing stuff from it, uh, save for another meal. And I heated them up, a lot of Brazil nuts in this, cashews and other uh, types of nuts in there. And uh, I did that up myself, and uh, they love it. There's the completed lobby bar. Very popular. Couldn't even find a seat in there last night. We'll try again. Just past that building is building 15 with rooms. There's building 16. I have a video of uh, the room on the bottom there and uh, just at the back of building 17 then there's the pool toilets and shower building 26 through there is under construction and there's a small pool between it and us and the entertainment area can be a little noisy in this area until 11 there's the Building 9 on the beach. Here's the pool bar. 24 hour beer. Through that direction is uh, the buffet on the beach. And we're back to the shops there. There's three craft souvenir shops. The shallow end of the pool, some more pool showers. Kitty play area back behind that. There's a gym equipment uh, just in that building on the other side of the palms. There's building number two. And some friends of ours sitting there, Rock and his wife. They're in here in building number one. I'll try to get a picture of their room in here. That's a circuit of the main area of Kawama. My first lunch, they had lettuce today and tomato and cucumber and beets. I added some of my red onion and uh, vegetables I brought from smuggled in my suitcase from home. And I'm about to top it off with a few other things. It's a lot quieter at the bar underneath of the Grand Canal a la carte restaurant drinking pina coladas now that the main lobby is back open again. As you see, there's the bridge, the canal that separates the Cocos Peninsula and Veradero from the mainland. It's a nice spot to drink. I'm at Grand Canal Restaurant having my first uh, dinner of our vacation. And this is my plate. And that fish is very tasty. Their uh, plan is delicious for dessert. To go with my toast coffee and I'm sitting on the patio looking out at the ocean. I'm at the uh, breakfast. Clacy's running the blender. You can see some cabbage and carrot. little tomato back there. Cucumber. 
uh, various fruit and sauces. That's a mango jam, the orange. So give you a little sugar in your fruit. Lacey's just whipped up a blender full. Here's some uh, more carrots and uh, green tomato. Looks like some fish and peas, cabbage, peas, eggplant, tomato squash, mixed uh, vegetables of different mixes, there's some beans, cabbage and carrot, not sure what all's in there, it's a real menagerie, walking through to the south side, they have some more of the candied fruit, Looks like maybe hair, I'm not sure. And some little desserts. And some juices, mango. Over here is, uh, that is uh, cream cheese and it looks like some sort of uh, soupy ketchup. Some sliced meats, the steam table has uh, some sausages with vegetables, squash, different vegetables mixed, obviously. The uh, egg grilling station is very popular. Renier is whipping up breakfast for everybody with his ingredients to choose from. The main entrance is the off that way. And the restaurant goes to the ocean side. Where I'm sitting out on the patio. Here is where they have a selection of bread, lots of buns, and it's very busy at the moment. I picked the busiest time to show you that they have a new toaster here. The last couple of times this month there was no toaster. And this other uh, steam table has a just about run out of pancakes. Looks like, I'm not sure if that's uh, honey or some other sauce. Some scrambled eggs, noodles, beans, some uh, yucca maybe, cabbage, plates. And this is the fruit station. The pineapple looks uh, hard as always. I've never tried that. But uh, that's your options for breakfast. And as I exit the buffet, they have a rainbow waiting for me. I'm in uh, the middle of building 16 right next to the main pool and lobby. And uh, I'm going to give you a tour of uh, room 1612. Soon as I enter here, the maid's just cleaning it between people, and you can see the closet, shower, and mirror. Toilet and shower are in here. Back out. into the room. There's a table, some chairs, a couple of tables, lamps, the fridge doors open, 
TV in the wall, air conditioner. It's running, it's nice and cool in here. It's got a patio doors to this patio right close to the entertainment area. That's the pool bar in front of us. The pool right there. And uh, over here is the main lobby bar. And just off of it, of course, is the main lobby. And so uh, this is a superior room at Hotel Club Kawama. I'm in the lifeguard hut at Kawama. And they have the red flag out. Uh, I might argue about whether that's necessary or not, but uh, they never asked me. And the boys are down there, went for a walk. See if they can find anybody breaking the rules. Going Greek salad today. Made a combination of what was here lettuce and tomatoes with some of my stuff. And uh, we have a beer and a sangria. And it's a gorgeous day. In a tour of room 701, I'll start with the toilet. Extra toilet paper. Up to the shower head. And out here is a glass faced closet. My clothes that are on hangers that I brought from home. Some Romeo y Julieta I just purchased. A couple of suitcases paid extra for a checked luggage so I could bring lots of gifts. Washing out my Bubba mug. Getting ready to smoke a cigar. There's a Air, dry, air dryer my wife has used a couple of times since we got here. And a couple of beds we pushed together at night time. Air conditioners working fine on the wall, set for 17. On this side is a ball I brought from home because I have a back problem and that stretches it out. The fridge is doing double duty with all of the th food that I bring from home. There's my TV. There's a pineapple that I purchased this morning for 20 cents over at the Santa Mar Marta Market. It's I smelled it and it's ripe, so can't beat that. And of course, uh, just in December, Last month they built a new pathway right there so that I can walk through the grass area that is also frequented by thorny grass and without getting thorns in my feet and get right on the beach. It's not very rough so they don't want you to go out too far in case of the undertow. Just play in the edge. But you can get salty and then go wash off in the pool. Right beside us is building 8. They renovated it last year. And just past that in the corner of the next building is the edge of uh, El Risolino, a la carte restaurant. And uh, attached to that is the buffet on the beach. That is called Full Venero here in Cuba. And uh, it has been, along with Red Snapper, my favorite fish dinner here. 
in the past, but that's the first time I've seen it here in my last few visits. So I'll tell you what I think later. So it's later and you can see how flaky this Volvanero is. And uh, the only problem is I may have to ask for another piece. I'm in uh, El Risolino a la carte. They call it their Italian a la carte. You can see they're busy in the kitchen back there. And a pretty full house here. And we're being entertained by beautiful music. I know I've shown you the flan before, but you can see this is a little different. It uh, looks from the holes like it's airier, and it tastes better. Don't you wish you were here? If you wonder why I bring so many salad toppings, it's because I eat salads at lunchtime. And I like to have an excellent salad. There's a little pork on the side. Some seven-year-old cheese. And a few things from home. I have tried their ham for dinner tonight. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I've come in to do a video just before they open for lunch and show you their presentation of uh, fruit. Looks like uh, some green pepper, onion, some cabbage with uh, sausage, maybe carrizo, uh, rice, tomato, hard boiled eggs, some eggplant and onion, okra, and a salad. Here is a beautiful girl who has some ham ready to dice up. And then cabbage, tomato, peppers, carrots, tomato, carrots, cucumber, sauce. Lettuce, tomato, cucumber, tomato, cabbage, lettuce, tomato. Oh, beets are good. I like the beets. Coming around to the south side. This is fruit that is, I believe, in a sugar syrup. And these are the desserts. Ice cream, toppings, steam table here, rice and black bean, cooked cabbage and yucca, I think. Not sure if that's okra and peppers. A couple of soups, one's pretty hearty looking. This is where Renier cooks breakfast and lunch. Looks like he's cooking pork. Cerdo in Spanish. Some sauce. Some sliced meats. There's Clasis again. <laughs> and uh, Paella? The other steam table has a plantain, okra, fish. Looks good. And squash, uh, beans, beans and a sauce, and some rice. Here's the plates. The sunny south side by the ocean. North side, that is. Sorry, pardon me. 
the bread looks pretty good. And I came in a little before lunch just to give you uh, an unobstructed view of the food at lunchtime. And uh, people are getting ready to come in. Sitting outside on the veranda is popular. People will get here a little early to grab a table there. You can understand why. I brought some of these no-name containers and I saved some pork in one of them from uh, a couple days ago and I've cut up an onion I bought at the Santa Marta market and a red pepper I brought from home though they have had pepper here most days you never know so I bring it and I'm gonna throw this on the grill and have it for breakfast along with some eggs The view from our table at breakfast at Kawarma. There's my butter, my coffee. Took a plate of honey. There's some bananas. Toast with butter and honey. Eggs. Pork and onions and red pepper just fried with the eggs. Fantastic. Not going to starve here. I gave the chef my pesto sauce and uh, chopped up some Kalamata olives and Parmesan cheese and just threw it on when they brought me my plate here. So that's what we have here. Truffle oil top Parmesan, Kalamata olives, and chicken on the side at El Rosalino a la carte restaurant. And I see this morning they have butter, mantequilla. And uh, if you come to Kawama for a week or two or a month or two, uh, you may want to have a container and take a bunch of that when you see it because they don't always have it. And that's true of whatever it is you like to eat or have with your meals. The same it might be true if you're planning a trip home and you want to make a sandwich on the airplane to uh, take a loaf of bread on the day before and uh, there may not be uh, the sandwich sized bread available uh, when you want to make a sandwich for the airplane so have a Ziploc bag and take a loaf and put it in your bag the day before and you'll be prepared. Back to the completed renovations in the main entrance lobby and they've repainted the front white. It has always been cream colored the 17 years we've been coming here and uh, I don't know if that's a primer coat but the interior is a nice bright white color. It's very different uh, than uh, it was uh, in the past and uh, very more updated and modern. I am standing outside of room 305. That's an upstairs room in building three. And uh, there's the uh, gym building, building two, the main lobby, the main pool. We're right next to the cafeteria, pardon me, the buffet they call it. And I'm about to turn and go into room 305 and give you a view of it. 
Off inside, you'll have the uh, washroom. There's the shower on the wall over the tub. Toilet. Back out to the room. Vaulted ceiling. Air conditioner works fine. They don't even use it. it. Gets too cold in here, they tell me. There's a freezer in that refrigerator there, and uh, it works fine. It'll freeze everything in the refrigerator if you set it too cold. There's a mirror door closet, the entry door. Building three on the second floor, as you may see through this uh, glass wall, has a pretty good ocean view. There's a table here and another couple of chairs in their patio. Again, this is uh, the buffet and Right in the corner there is El Rissolino Italian a la carte, building eight, seven, six, four there. Some more of these rooms in the top of building three. And you could probably squeeze a couple more chairs into this patio. But uh, all in all, uh, rooms in building three are very much in demand. Well, I've been at Kuwama for a week now, and uh, the steak finally showed up. So I asked for mine uh, rosada, pink. Looks like it's going to be moist. We'll see. And pink and moist. It is. We do have a few people here in the afternoon playing bingo at the beer bar. They may have had a drink or two. Perucho, who has been here for over 50 years, recommended me to try the Mai Mai, a fish I have not had here before and it certainly looks delicious. Trying a little different salad dressing today. Brought from Canada. And I've been eating salads like that every day. To go with the view. see the double-decker tour bus coming up there that is where you can hail the bus to get on by La Sangria restaurant there's a little loop in the highway there and uh, people on the tour bus can hail it it's not an official stop you've got to wave it down and it's the same at the old airport if you want to get dropped off or picked up from Santa Marta that you have to hail it down it's not an official stop a map here that you can uh, freeze this and 
get a sense of the uh, room locations, the services at Kawama, and uh, over in this direction is the small pool next to building 21. And uh, just to the left of that building 26 is a street that runs along the ocean. The street that runs along the ocean goes at the north side of Tortuga and Barlovento resorts and it continues in that direction to 15th Street and a short few steps to the right on 15th Street and you're at the large market of Veradero. And then uh, this is the corner of Kawama, building 26 again. The small pool, the coffee bar. I think it's open till 10 these days. There's building 11 and 12 right on the beach here. The coffee bar oh, here by the little pool. Natasha, Natasha has just made me this coffee. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> and Karen gets a couple of hearts on her. It's a crazy day for beach volleyball at Kawama. I know none of you have seen a movie of a salad at lunch before. With our white wine. And we took some chicken. Yeah, tastes pretty good. <laughs> I'm having uh, red wine at dinner because uh, on this trip they have not had white wine. They did in December when I was here, but I might recommend that you go to duty free on your way here and uh, grab a bunch of white wine if you're a white wine drinker and you want to have it with your uh, pork chop in this case here good trip um, right next to the lobby bar in building one going into 103 when I go in, on the left, sink, closet, safe, toilet, let me open that up to the shower and tub. And then back to the room. Here it is. They have a couple of beds. I think that's a double. And uh, I don't know if that's a queen or a king. And uh, good sized room. High ceiling. It's quite cool in here. Television. Air conditioner is obviously working. Fridge and freezer. Goes out to a patio. Of course, that's the entertainment area. Pool bar in front of us. And the main pool. So there's room for a few people here. And you don't have to go too far, like I said for drinks at the lobby bar or for a splash in the pool. So it's pretty well located. You can see the ocean from here too. Gorgeous view. There's been no bananas for the last two weeks at Kawama but uh, the only ones we've had were ones that were given to us by people that went to the market. So there's an idea. 
every day after breakfast at the buffet. Our ritual has included coming over to the new lobby bar and having a couple more coffees. There's uh, Idis with her back to us, Roberto on the right, Janya on the left. Tonight is the magic show. I'm not much of a magic show audience, but there's plenty of people here that are. Two, uno, dos, one, two, dancing uno, lessons. Dos, one, two, eso. Not often that I get uh, lobster that size for dinner at Kawama, but when I do, I appreciate it. This is the staff that keeps us coming back. All repeaters know them well.